So let's take a quick tour of the Datamia user interface. Here on the home page, you can see the ability to create a new project alongside the ability to perform a keyword search for any Snowflake datasets, schemas, or transformation projects created and catalogued in Datamere. Searching for content is a great place to start. Here in the Datasets tab, we can search for any Snowflake tables and views. Let's search for datasets containing the keyword retail. Selecting a dataset allows you to browse the column metadata. Here we can see the column names, data types, and any descriptions added to the dataset. I can also preview what the data looks like by selecting the data preview tab. This looks like a good dataset to start my data transformation project with. So let's add this to a new project using the add to project button. Inside the project workbench is where we can transform our Snowflake data. In the middle of the screen is where we can see a graphical representation of how the data is being transformed, along with the ability to preview the data selected. To transform your data, simply select the green plus button, or you can select the new transformation or new SQL editor buttons at the top. Let's start with the SQL editor. If you are a data engineer, you will be used to writing SQL code to query and transform data using this approach. Here we can execute SQL statements, call native Snowflake SQL functions, and see a preview of the data being transformed. Once applied, you can see your SQL appear in the workbench as a transformation step. To add more datasets to your workbench, you can browse your Snowflake tables and schemas on the left hand side and select the Add to Project button to add the new dataset to your project. Let's add a retail locations table to our workbench as we want to analyze our data by store location. It is also worth noting here that you can upload CSV files in the workbench if your data doesn't already reside in Snowflake. To join multiple datasets together, I could use the SQL editor or I can use the no code join recipe. Here in the join configuration, I can select the data source I wish to join against, and Datamere will recommend particular column names to join against, with the ability to change the join mode or behavior. Selecting the location key column in this example will auto-generate a preview of that newly joined dataset, which I can then add to my transformation project. I can also perform other no-code recipes, such as pivot and aggregating of my data. Here I can select the fields or column names to aggregate, for example, the location type. I can add a measure value to calculate, in this case, the transaction price, and I can apply an aggregate function to apply, for example, sum, average, min, or max. And optionally, you can include the row count. You can see a preview of how your aggregate view looks before you hit the apply button to add this transformation as another recipe. To summarize, we have just looked at an overview of the Datamere user interface to explore and discover Snowflake data and how to transform this data using the project workbench. We looked at using SQL and no-code transformations, 
regardless of whether you are a non-coder or data engineer.